Hey guys, welcome back to Backyard Beekeeping. Today we're going to be catching a swarm in this tree. So the size of the swarm is about maybe three or four baseballs. We could take big. a few frames of Jacoby or um, one of your other hives. We could take some of the bees from Jacoby and put them in there. We definitely could. Um, the swarm's up there. We're going to catch it now. Um, got the box down there. You can see it. Got a bucket right there. And I'm going to set you guys up for time lapse. Hey guys, so it turns out I didn't actually explain anything while I was on site um, and I'm editing the video now so I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit now. So me and that friend that's in the video are part of this group called MAVA, Metro Atlanta Bee Keepers Association. And they have a swarm watch call list and he had signed up for it. So him and I were planting flowers in my yard, um, just doing some landscaping and he gets a text, oh there's a swarm in Roswell, Georgia, about six feet high. And we're like, oh cool, let's go get it. And that's where um, you see us here. This is not my property, these are my bees but I did catch the swarm and they are in my apiary now. So we've just put the first bucket load of bees in there. We've gone ahead and closed it up with a towel. Um, there's some more regrouping on the tree and we're gonna go catch those uh, in a couple minutes. Let them chill out for a second. Hopefully they'll We'll start fanning in the box and that'll mean we'll have the queen. So the hive is closed up now and we're gonna go ahead and bring them home. Hey guys, so from that point you just saw, I brought the hive home. I gave him a pollen patty and some sugar water just to get him built up. It is possible for swarms to leave your hive, um, but I found if I give them some resources to get started, they usually stick around and uh, start laying and that's when you know you got them. So, the hive is downstairs in the apiary outside right now. Um, they're doing great, flying in and out, very busy every day. Um, I'm gonna do a hive inspection in about a week and I'm gonna do a video about that so you guys will see the progression of the swarm. As you can see, it wasn't that big of a swarm, but it's still bees and we're helping their probability of surviving, so I have no problem doing it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.